Let's walk through the process of taking our Next.js sample web application. The link to this web application's template repo is in the description box. And we are going to create a build of it as part of a continuous integration job using GitHub Actions. So the first thing I need to do is create my automation YAML file. So I'm going to create a new file in the .github folder slash workflows. I'm going to call it automation.yaml, even though the name is really not that important. Now I'm going to give it a name, build and release Next.js web application. And it's going to trigger whenever we push. It's going to run a single job called build project. And this job, we're going to give it a, a, a more formal name. So build Next.js application see we're going to run it on the latest version of ubuntu and we're going to give it some steps first step real easy we're going to call this one checkout code it's going to use the github action called checkout version 2 create another step we're going to call this install npm dependencies this one is going to run npm install and then the final one, we're going to call it build project, build static website. And this one is going to just run npm run build. So walking through this real quick, we are going to check out our code and we're going to run npm install to pull the dependencies from package.json here, which is next, react, link.js, and UUID. After that, we're going to run npm run build. This is going to take this script which is going to build this web application to .next folder and then export it as a static HTML white website to the out folder. So as long as I don't have any syntax errors, I should be able to save this. Add initial build YAML will be the name of my commit message. I'll commit it to my local repo and push it up to GitHub. Now synchronizing is pushed, so I should be able to go to GitHub Click the Actions tab, see that we do have our workflow, and we added the initial build YAML. It looks like I might have a typo. Let's see. So it says here, instead of uses, these should be saying run, because uses say use an existing action. Run says to run a command. So I do have a typo. I always say, you know, if you have a typo, just go ahead and fix it. Fix typo. Commit this. Push it from my local machine to GitHub. And for those who are following along, uses allow you to use an existing GitHub action in some other repository. Run allows you to just run a command within your agent, or agent being the latest version of Ubuntu available in GitHub Actions. So we'll go back. There we go. Everything's working beautifully. It's checking out the code because we have to pull the code into the agent before we can do anything with it. Once we check out the code, we're going to install dependencies for NPM. It's going to fuss a little bit because it say, hey, yeah, you know, some of these dependencies and versions are a little bit older. You know, you should consider, you know, updating them. Um, this is just a sample web application, so we're not going to worry too much about this. Obviously, if this is a real production application, we probably put a lot more thought into it. Now it's going to run npm run build. That's going to build our static website. So here we go. Next.js is going to first build the .next folder, which is the optimized production build of the website. Then it's going to create an out folder, which is the same website, but store the static content. And then the job is completed. Now, we, we have a successful build, but there's a big problem here. Even though we have a successful build, we don't have anything to prove it. You know, where is the website? What can we do with it? Because now that agent is done, that built website is gone. On my local machine, I built already, so I have my out folder, but I need that in GitHub Actions. And the way we do that is we need to upload our content as an artifact. You see here we have artifacts, and we don't have any artifact yet. So there's a special GitHub Action for this, github.com slash actions, which will take us to the actions org. And we're going to use the upload artifact action. Now, upload artifact will take some files, and upload it as an artifact in GitHub. So you see, to use it, we just use actions checkout at v2 to get the code, do something with it, and then use this actions upload artifact to upload our artifact. So let's try it out. We're gonna go down here, we're gonna create a step called upload static website. 
we're going to, um, instead of run, we're going to use an existing action. So actions, upload, artifact at V2 with, and here's where things get fun. We can say, you know what, we're going to call this artifact static hyphen site. And what do we want to upload? Well, we want to upload everything in the out folder. I'm going to save this. And then I'm going to create a commit called upload artifact. Commit that. Push it from my local repo to my remote, which was the repo on GitHub. I go back to GitHub Actions and see upload artifact. That workflow is running. We're waiting for the job to start up. Let's give it a second. There we go. The job has started up. It's going to build our next JS web application. So setting up the job, checking out the code, doing the NPM dependencies install. This is going to build the static website. And this time, instead of just ending after it built the static website, it's going to upload that static website to an artifact called static hyphen site. Again, make it a little bit easier for us to um, review what this build actually did. So we're going to just wait a second for it to finish. There we go. It's going to upload 165 files. And then if we go, we'll see we have a new artifact called static site. I'm going to download that artifact. I'm going to open it. And we have our HTML website that's ready for us to host on any pretty, pretty much any host that can support static HTML files with no backend or dynamic code running at all. So this is how we build a really simple continuous integration workflow. And we can use this artifact as part of a simple release process or more complex release process later.